to my channel. My name is Gina. This week I'm going to be making a chicken pot pie with a Halloween twist. I'm going to be cutting a jack-o-lantern pattern onto the pot pie so that we get a little Halloween theme but still a delicious meal. If you like Halloween themed foods, smash that thumbs up below. I really like them. I've made um, hot dog mummies in the past but unfortunately, due to being pregnant, I cannot have hot dogs right now. So, the next best thing would be to make a chicken pot pie, obviously. Of course, it's your natural thought, right? If you want more weekly dinner inspiration, please subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, let's make dinner. We're gonna start by just peeling everything. You wanna peel your carrots and your potatoes. want just about a cup so we'll cut off our ends we got about a cup taking a large saucepan and I'm just gonna put our carrots right into there we're gonna dice up our potatoes A cup full of potatoes and I'm going to put the potatoes in there as well. We've added enough water to cover our carrots and potatoes. Turn this on and then we're just going to bring this up to a boil. One onion. of a cup of onion, one stick of butter, cubed. Carrots and potatoes are boiling, so I'm going to reduce the heat down to low, cover this, and we're going to cook it for 8 to 10 minutes. In a large skillet, Heat butter over medium-high heat. Add in our onions. Give that a stir. Those and carrots a nice drain. So we're just going to cook up our onions. I'm thinking this looks good, so I'm going to put in a half a cup of flour. Mix all that in. A teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, half a teaspoon of thyme. That is the seasonings that we're going to be using. Okay, and now we're going to add some low sodium chicken broth. Just going to whisk in a little bit at a time. Seems uh, very thick. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So that's one and a half cups of chicken broth. Three quarters of a cup of milk that we're also gonna slowly add. All right, so it says you wanna bring it to a boil, which it looks like it's definitely boiling. I'm going to add in two cups of chicken. And this is already cooked chicken, 
I just threw mine into a pan and cooked it in the oven. Oh, I just and then I just cut it up. And you can also buy like a rotisserie chicken and just cut up two cups of chicken from that. Whatever you would like to do. So mix all that in. One cup of frozen peas. Half of a cup of corn. It looks so nice and colorful. I feel like this looks so healthy, but I don't know how healthy it actually is. This up just so the peas and the corn are broken up so you don't have huge gobs. So I forgot that you have to let your pie crust get to room temperature. So we're going to wait about 15 minutes so that these can get to room temperature. This is called real life cooking. This is what happens. <laughs> It says you can microwave them, but I'll just leave them out for a little bit. The filling should be fine. Preheat your oven to 425. So I just got one package of pre-made crust, and I've let this sit out for about 15 minutes to get it up to room temperature. Try to carefully unroll this. Just trying to make this pretty even so that it covers everything. Oops, that needs a little. So we're going to put the filling in and just try to smooth this all out so it's pretty flat. Kind of congealed a little bit because it cooled because I had to remember about the crust but should be fine because the oven it's going to heat back up so we should be all set. All right and now we're just going to carefully pull this open. This is why they made scissors, right? Just cutting along the pie plate to get any excess. Alright, so now I'm going to take a knife you want to make slits. Here we have our jack-o'-lantern pot pie. The recipe doesn't say to do this, but I'm just going to take some of my extra virgin olive oil cooking spray and just do kind of a light spray on the top of it. And then we're going to put this into the oven at 425 for 35 to 40 minutes. So I'll probably check it at 35 to see how we're doing. Getting it out of the oven. So this is what it looks like just out of the oven. Let this sit for 15 minutes to cool.
honesty, I have made this pot pie before. I don't think it was ever as thick as this one, but this recipe always comes out so delicious. You just do need to note that the recipe online is for two pies. So if you just wanna make one, you're gonna to wanna to have all the ingredients that it has listed, which in the description box I have calculated for you to make it easier. And I've also linked the recipe as well from Taste of Home. Um, but this recipe is so delicious. Every time I make it, my husband's like, oh, you should make this every week. And so it's definitely a family favorite over here, and I hope that you enjoy it as well. This is so much fun to make, too, because it had a little bit of a Halloween theme, but not like a ton of time to do, and really no artistic ability, because as you can see, my pumpkin was very minimal artistically. <laughs> So if you liked this video, please smash that thumbs up below. And if you'd like more weekly dinner inspiration, please subscribe to my channel as I release videos every Wednesday. So keep an eye out for next week's video. I'm going to be attempting to make homemade bread. So we'll see how that goes. Wish me luck. If you do make it, let me know how it comes out for you and let me know how your Halloween design came out if you decide to do that as well. Thank you so much for watching this week and we'll see you next time. Bye everyone! Also, this video, I need to make a public service announcement. Don't eat pumpkin seeds, because then you will grow a pumpkin in your belly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was just goofy. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone! Bye.